This is Bop It Smash from Hasbro. Bop It is back with a new way to play. It's a game of extreme action and reaction. Follow the light to time your reaction just right to catch it. Bop It Smash features three game modes. Solo, Pass It, and competitive multiplayer for added challenge. Bop It Smash is for kids age eight and up and requires three AAA alkaline batteries. Demo batteries are included. Bop It Smash from Hasbro. They're just making no sense. Are you complaining? Always. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Littlewoods Live. We are live. Hey, yeah. we so are. <laughs> <laughs> We're here on the Littlewoods Facebook page, littlewoods.com and on channel5.com. And if you're watching on Facebook, you can post us a message. We will receive it with great, great gratitude. Uh, we want your comments. We want your answers. We want to answer your questions. And we, you might be in charge. It might be in for the chance of winning a hundred pounds to spend at Littlewoods.com. Hey. Nice, yeah. very nice indeed. Plus later in the show, we're also going to reveal who has won two thousand pounds of Littlewoods products in our exclusive competition. So if you've entered, do keep watching. Keep watching anyway. Now it's all waiting outside in the van, ready to be delivered to one lucky viewer. Are you going to drive that said van? The van of like Mylene. Oh. I'm going to be there changing the gears. It's all absolutely wonderful. Um, remember, share and like this page with all of your friends, all your neighbours, all of your household servants. I know they're doing it at Downton. Littlewoods.com, it's the place to be. Tell us what you want and we will see whether we can answer your questions. Now, I believe we've got a bit of a phone call coming through. That's right. We have been contacted by you, the viewers. What have you got to say for yourselves? It's Katie McKenzie. Hello, Katie. Hello, hi. Hi, how are you? Welcome to our party. Thank you, thanks. <laughs> so, you've got a question for us, I understand. I have, yes. It's, what has been the best and the worst present Either of you have received at Christmas. Oh. oh okay. Uh, for me, best present ever was when I was seven and I got a little um, like tape recorder. I can make mixed tapes. That's oh, so yeah. sweet. That's so cute. I'd mixed love to counter tapes. that by saying the best present I ever had was a Rolf Harris xylophone, but I'd be lying. <laughs> Because um, I never liked them. They made rubbish. Apart from that bidding crazy horses that goes zzz, zzz. You're too young. You're way too young. Are you too young, Katie? Can you remember crazy horses? Zzz, zzz, zzz. I'll see if I can. Whoa! Hey. I'm liking you. What's the best present you've ever had, Katie? Apart from being on Littlewoods Live. My best present I've had was my son. Aww. And was he beautifully wrapped? Pardon? Was he beautifully wrapped? Absolutely gorgeous, that. How sweet! How absolutely Katie, sweet. Katie, is your is your son a Christmas baby then? No, what it was was we found out as expected on Christmas Day, and six months later, along came Andrew. Oh, how incredibly sweet! And so good of you to not call him Sprout or something other <laughs> Christmassy. Yeah, you know, Rizzo. Rizzo. I don't know. It's, it all happens out there. So, well done, Katie. Thank you very much indeed for ringing in. Please, everybody, keep watching, keep ringing. We are here to answer your questions. We are but celebrity taxis for hire. <laughs> Talking of which. My flag's up. <laughs> uh, I do believe you are going to show me. I am going to show you summit. something absolutely unbelievable, Mylene Class. Are you ready for this? Should I this set is the going phone? to be the Christmas makeover of your dreams. Follow Can't or lead. Wait. This is bedroom. Forget your bedroom. Forget your boudoir of makeover. Dump. This is a very, very, as you can see, Commonwealth Garden, ordinary early 17th century panelled room by the famous architect Robert Adam, which I'm now going to turn into something really very, very spectacular. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I like what you've done with the place here. What are your plans exactly? Well, the thing is, and this is, I think, a very, very important point for most people at Christmas. Well, there we all are. We are now dreading the arrival, the advent of granny or mother-in-law. Um, and they are... you. Oh, I know. <laughs> My mother-in-law's fine, as long as she comes in a box with a scattering of earth from her home country. <laughs> it's all absolutely fine. But it is all about being able to um, open so your dead. house. I know. So no Christmas present. Or maybe a pair of slippers, as usual. Um, it is all about being able to open in your house, share the hospitality, but room is at a bit of a premium. Okay. So what I want to do with this space is to show that actually, even if you're doing a bit of a, a temporary bedroom in one of your um, further further rooms, it can be something deeply stylish and very, very lovely. Or even if you're going to style up the sofa. Well, I want you to it put, your, is, can we up the put sofa? your money where your mouth is. We've got a clock. 
to see if you can genuinely do this in five minutes. How five, are you under five pressure, minutes. LLB? I'm extremely, extremely good, and I've been sort of plucked and greased, and I'm ready for action. Okay. I really am. Right. Well, Just like the turkey. I know you're desperate to see this. <laughs> are you ready? Are you five ready for this? on the clock. Do your thing, LLB. Off you right. go. Right, on your marks, go, set, go. <laughs> now, the big thing is to have a crack team of people to come and do it for you. That's what I would say. Come on, Kevin. Here they come. Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, look. Hello, Kevin. Yeah. 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 Kevin, Kevin, get on with it. It's my show. It's my show. <laughs> Kevin, it's not the Kevin show. In come you come, come on, lady. And then we got Tina. Tiny Tina, tiny mighty Tina. And here they keep coming. More and more and more oh, and more Oh, am I in the way? Oh, sorry. Well, well, we're slightly okay. in the way here. But this is, the, the whole point of this exercise is to show that actually, no, not there, a little bit further, come on, west, west, west. Um, is to show that actually it is just about finishing accessories that can really bring a scheme to life. Things like rugs, things like lighting. Now, if you are going to squeeze granny or mother-in-law into a new room, make sure they've got adequate lighting so that it actually feels home. Kevin, bring the, bring the lamp in. Bring the lamp Here in. comes said lighting. There we go. This oh, is we're, we're actually taking tangled. more time than the Renaissance. And that right, was a couple that's of centuries. That's one minute gone already, LLB. For goodness sake, what are you doing, team? What are you doing, team? What um, are you doing? I'm telling them what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they look, love it. That's what they're enjoying. Uh, the colours that you've gone with, well, I call it a teal. What would I, you, what I'm, would you I'm say? moving on from teal, Mylin. Oh. I'm moving on from teal. I'm Sorry. moving on to peacock. Because I think it says so much more about me than teal ever can. Peacock. Um, but okay. it's, and I think this is a very good point, actually using a very, very strong accent colour, particularly when you've got to make a room open. Look, Kevin's in with his nutcrackers. Bless him. Hang on, hang on, stop the press. And a golden pineapple. And a golden pineapple. Yeah. Hey, we I, love I've got my eye on your golden pineapple. Mylene Class has promised she will wear a golden pineapple up the red carpet to the next <laughs> premiere she goes to, like Karma Miranda. Um, but no, using one very, very strong accent colour does give a real sense of kind of designer space to it. And as you can see, things are just coming in thick and fast. Bringing the colour scheme into the Christmas tree is a nice idea as well. So you get a real sense of sort of coordination and Christmas everything coming Christmas in. tree in the bedroom. Well, why not? Oh, why not? Now, listen, I have to say that... Oh, hang on. From Facebook. Yes, we've got a question from Julie. Everything stops. Julie is doing a bold move. She's got a new purple carpet, a deep purple carpet. Do you mind getting... Don't room. get in the way of my chaise. Uh, what have your shades moment? What Sorry, could you Alex. do? She's putting a deep purple carpet in a front room. What colour accessories do you recommend for Julie? I think green is good with that, and particularly when it's a large bottle of gin. Um, you know, just rock that particular look. No, actually, really good. If she's looking for a general background wall colour for purple, always go for a pale grey. Pale greys will make rooms I'm feel just much just bigger. Let you know you're halfway through. Carry on. Listen, we're, we're, it's a cake walk. I say you, I mean Kevin. Right, can you go and get the Artex? We need to start on the ceiling. <laughs> and Mylene, a question for you as well. National Trust. Uh, the oh. lovely lady Tracy looks fab, says Oliver. She should dress to show her personality and not worry about her age. It's just a number. So it's I Anna. completely agree, but I think that, you know, when yeah, you Yeah, but you're 16. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. But I think, you know, when she's saying that she's in her 40s, it's, it's absolutely nothing. We get so hung up on age at the moment and having to look a certain way. Mm. I think it's more important that you do embrace the age that you're at. And also, more importantly, you have all these mums, like I said before, who just feel that they, they don't even get a look in. What I think that is so important that little ones do is that they remember to put mum back on the list to make her feel special too. Well, so. speaking of mum, Karen has just given birth and she'd like a simple party outfit that will disguise her mummy tummy. Come on, uh, she's busy. a Five, she's 5'10", size busy. 12. She's a size... She's size 12, but she's, she's about 5'10 in height. Oh, that's great height. I mean, that, Come on, do look, she's going you know, to be able to carry quite a lot mm. uh, with that height as well. I'd say first and foremost, when it comes to um, styling up anything, get some good underwear because it's like a foundation garment. It holds you nicely, gives you a good silhouette. So uh, certainly head over to my range because I've got some good pants. Do you know what I've I really, to... really love about this Christmas? Don't is there we, are, there we are. There we are. I'm styling up a bedroom, but actually I can't concentrate because we're talking about Miley's pants. Um, but you know, pants are very important. Uh, I'm know. talking about foundation, foundation garments. <laughs> foundation garments. But we've got Hurrah. lots of lovely dresses and lots of. I think try not to wear something that's going to be too tight around the belly, so you don't. You know, that's mm. the area that you feel conscious. Let it just mm. skim. So something. And you've got to find room for sprouts after all. <laughs> <laughs> no, busy eat sprouts. Sprout expansion moment is actually very, very important. Um, to any, you know, not that I'm kind of. You know, jealous or anything, Alex, but anything for me. Anything you know, for there's you. me sweat well. The my, team, my team is sweating around me. <laughs> Julianne says, I know how to dress my living room for Christmas. I yes. would love to be able to dress the bedroom and make it more inviting, but how? Well, this is a very, very important point. I think, you know, never ever forget that Christmas is not just about those funny little ankle biters that we call children. 
Christmas should also be about grown-ups as well. And actually, as you said earlier, the idea of having a Christmas tree in the bedroom, I think it's really nice. Me and Mrs Llewellyn Bone always used to make sure that we had a little bit of a, a special adult moment on Christmas. Christmas, Christmas I, evening. I can't anymore. 10, 9, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. one. Oh, there you go. Can we just say, like has he Kevin's counting come on? <laughs> um, you know, he's been on a course and stuff, and I it's just, just felt great. The it just... <laughs> Meanwhile, Mrs. Lorna Bone is scowling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I had to jump in there. I was well beginning done. to Thank feel you. that Thank I was hearing more about your Christmas than I ought to. Yeah, we to. didn't really need to know that, did we? No, no we really all about not. her full stockings. But anyway, um, oh, let's just have a look at what we've done here. Yes. We have taken what was an incredibly important National Trust room <laughs> and made it look this fabulous um, through the medium of littlewoods.com. Bye now. Um, but it's all about using that sense of real style and real focus, one accent colour, in this case peacock, to give a very, very comfortable atmosphere. And as I say, now we're all beginning to panic slightly about creating the ideal guest room. Look at accessories like carpets, like curtains, like cushions, um, like bed linen, and don't feel frightened of doing something like putting a little bit of a tree in the corner. That's a wonderful way of encouraging the mother-in-law to stay in her room and not come and bother you. That's my tip for Christmas. Oh, yes. I think there's going to be another scowl coming in your direction. There it, is. There it comes. <laughs> uh, when it comes to adding colour into bedrooms, I think you've got to be quite brave, no? I think bedrooms, I mean, it's very, very interesting because as far as I'm concerned, bedrooms are um, one place where you can really, really, really let your hair down in style it's terms. Saucy oh, yes. You know, but downstairs, people are always going to be a bit judgmental when you, um, you know, when you're inviting them around for tea or, um, you know, they're just popping in for a drink or whatever. But actually, your bedroom is somewhere that you can really express yourself. And the whole thing about what we're doing here at Littlewoods is it gives you that opportunity to create a sense of personality and individuality in your space, but you can spread the cost, which is, of course, extremely important at this time of year. So check out my range, check out her range on littlewoods.com. It's a lovely place to be. And talking of spreading the costs, I think it's time for another spot prize, don't you, Alex? Hey! Oh Give some money away. Well, there was actually two spot prizes in the last room. I made a mistake. It was Caroline and Lindsay won it last time. Yeah. Uh, and in this room, we had one for Marion. Says, loving the show. Keep up the good work. You really pulled a cracker out of the bag. And a Merry Christmas. Ooh. So, Marion. Thank you, Marion. Congratulations. Love Marion. Aren't you, you lovely, Marion? <laughs> Thank you. 